Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Yulia and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. We're discussing fragrances here and if you enjoyed this topic make sure to subscribe to our channel. Today we'll speak about a fragrance uh, from the house of Arige de Dore and it's called uh, Manly or Manly. It was released in 2021, uh, two years ago, I believe in September. And then I bought uh, this uh, 10 ml uh, bottle. I will show you the presentation now and we'll speak about the fragrance. We always love um, Arish Ledore's uh, presentation. Uh, he always changes the details, it's always something new, the colors, the shape other things and uh, we were always pleasantly surprised with uh, the presentation, the bottles, uh, the, the packaging. I've just sprayed it uh, about uh, 20 minutes ago on my hand. And we also have it uh, on uh, our handmade bottle. Yep. I sprayed it uh, today early in the morning, about uh, 5, 5 uh, a.m. I woke up uh, today very early, uh, about uh, half uh, past four <laughs> in the morning. And I uh, went uh, to the swimming pool. I love to swim. Uh, please write us in the comments uh, who of uh, you like to swim in the swimming pool a lot. This fragrance was released in 2021 by two gentlemen. Uh, actually, this fragrance was created by Anton uh, from Aiton Perfumes. Uh, he's a stepbrother of uh, Russian Adam. He's a younger stepbrother. And uh, Anton, or Aiton, uh, his name is Anton Gerasimov, and uh, he sent uh, this uh, fragrance to Russian Adam and uh, he really enjoyed it and uh, Adam decided uh, well let's release this uh, fragrance under the brand Arigli Dore and Adam uh, took his formula and uh, kind of added a little bit uh, details to this composition and uh, they released it uh, under Arigli Dore so, the ingredients are very good to my nose. I really enjoy this fragrance. As it says here, it's uh, very manly, it's masculine, but Julia said that uh, she would uh, also love to wear it. Yes, I think it's a unisex fragrance, actually. Because maybe it has a lot of sweetness, uh, very delicious. Sweetness, delicious, like this uh, dried fruit accord, uh, uh, tobacco, it just gives me this uh, delicious and uh, sweet and soft yet uh, uh, deep um, vibes that uh, makes me think that it's a totally unisex fragrance and anyone who likes uh, the composition itself can pull it off. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, the main notes in this composition to my nose are patchouli and tobacco. Uh, in the base there is a lot of leather also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These three notes are the main to my nose, and it also has uh, quite a lot of sweetness, but it's uh, beautiful down here. It has, uh, uh, to my nose, some dried fruits, uh, some sweet notes, it has also tonka bean and vanilla, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful here. It also has in the top notes oak moss, but I get uh, it also in the base. It's very woody, it has uh, Indian wood in the base, sandalwood. It, has, it also has uh, this uh, delicious uh, cinnamon. Yeah. It also has uh, saffron, which gives this fragrance a touch of spiciness. I don't know from where, but uh, I get uh, some smokiness from this fragrance. A little bit. It's very warm, it's uh, spicy. It's delicious, it's a little bit gourmand, mm -hmm. yeah. Very cozy. And actually from uh, this bottle it smells absolutely wonderful. Yes, I, I'm getting even more dried fruit uh, from the bottle and it, it makes it smell so delicious. 
I want to bite this, bite this yes. uh, bottle now. It smells so mouth mouth watering even. Yeah, no? I, I love it from the bottle even more actually. Mm. And actually, cap smells. Mm. It's a very good fragrance. Uh, uh, many people, many Aristotle fans in 2021, when it was released, uh, hated the name of this fragrance. I don't know why. I'm I'm not born in uh, UK or uh, uh, United States. United States, and so uh, manly for me is a good word. You know, I don't understand uh, why people don't like the name manly. Yeah, tell us please in the comments yeah. why, why if you didn't like it, why didn't you like it? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was very interesting for me. Uh, actually, the name uh, came from Anton, and I think uh, this uh, name suits the smell of this fragrance uh, quite well. Yeah. Yeah, it does, uh, but at the same time, uh, as I mentioned before, I think it's very unisex smelling. Uh, I also, but it's not a bad name at all. I also get uh, quite a lot of uh, booziness uh, in the opening of mm. this composition. Yeah. I don't know from where it comes from. Maybe from uh, patchouli uh, with this uh, tobacco s sweet notes. I don't know from where. Maybe with tobacco. Tobacco with sweetness, with patchouli, I think it can create this kind of a um, boozy accord. I think this uh, fragrance uh, suits very well uh, to gentleman's club. Mm -hmm. uh, when Where you sit on expensive wooden chair uh, with leather and uh, you're drinking uh, an expensive whiskey or cognac and uh, you're smoking uh, a cigar. It's a good vibe. Or if you're a woman and you like to be out in the dark, <laughs> it, 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 spreading your charms, I think it could be a good one as well for you. Yeah, I agree with you. It, it also has a lot of uh, darkness uh, in this composition. Mm -hmm. It's not a bright fragrance at all. It's dark, a little bit mysterious, a little bit smoky. I really enjoyed it. Let's read the notes, please. Sure. Uh, by the way, this uh, was, uh, I believe, $80 for 10 mil. Yeah, very expensive. It also came in 30 ml a bottle, but I don't have it. And actually, it's uh, sold out in 2021. Top notes are patchouli, oak moss, and sweet notes. Middle notes are tobacco, cinnamon, tonka bean, nutmeg, cashmere, and saffron. Base notes are leather, Indian oud, sandalwood, and vanilla. And by the way, this fragrance reminds me a little bit of Interlude Man by Amage. Uh, they share some similar notes like uh, leather, oud, uh, sandalwood, and patchouli. Uh, in these both fragrances are is uh, sweetness, yeah. And to me, uh, both of them has some uh, smokiness. And they're very warm, uh, but uh, Interlude Man is a lot more smokier. Actually, I did not get it before. Yeah. But now I'm kind of getting it because when we filmed the previous video and when we discussed uh, this fragrance uh, between the two of us, I said, no, I'm, I'm not getting the similarities between the Interlude and the Manly. But now, Yes, there is this uh, smokiness, because for me, interlude is about smokiness and spiciness. Yeah, here a little bit less, but in the dry down, I'm getting the uh, interlude. I'm getting in interlude vibes after about four hours uh, after spraying. On the blotter right now? Yeah. 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 It has something from that. Yeah, Absolutely. and I love interlude, man. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's like one of my... My favorite Amor fragrance, maybe. Yeah. Of them all, yeah? Yeah, Interlude. I think it was on the first place for me. Even uh, better than uh, Memoir Woman? 
I don't know, there is just something, I love all of my women uh, amouages and I just love this house, but Interlude Man is just crazy, crazy good. Yeah, it's fantastic. So yeah, yeah. It was on number two on our top 10 homage fragrances. Yeah, I think I was fighting for it to be the number one, but yes. you, you've... Uh, uh, Jubil Jubilation Man was uh, the, the number one. Yeah, I just decided to agree with Mitri, you know. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this fragrance is not absolutely unique. One it's not 100% unique, but as we love so much Interlude Man, I also love this fragrance. Yeah, they're very, very but, different though. But, but, but they are different. It starts so much different. From the bottle, it smells a lot different. But in the dry down, yeah, they have uh, similarities. They're nowhere near uh, the same. But yeah, they have some 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 similar qualities. But yeah, it smells like you dipped uh, some dried fruits into the cognac, maybe mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. Yeah, delicious. Very delicious. Mm. If you can find it, uh, please sample. Uh, yes, if please. you can't, then you can't because mm -hmm. it's uh, sold out two years ago. That's everything I have and uh, I won't have any more <laughs> so I'm cher cherishing this fragrance I haven't shown this uh, previously in any of our tops but I think it's a very solid fragrance for fall and winter yeah definitely uh, the performance is great and, uh, it lasts uh, all day on my mm -hmm. skin uh, when I spray it in the 8 o'clock in the morning and when I go sleep I can still smell it and it projects uh, all working day from my neck, so I think it's great. The quality of ingredients is very good to my nose. Uh, I believe here is uh, some distilled patchouli by Russian Adam. Yeah. And it smells amazing. Uh, yeah. And very, very, very unique and very different, li like from other fragrances. Yeah. Uh, the, the only similarity I can uh, get maybe from uh, also from Aiton perfumes uh, from Roxbury, his fragrance Roxbury. It also has a lot of uh, patchouli with uh, tobacco and uh, a touch of sweetness. But uh, this one is a lot more sweet, yeah. and uh, to my nose, this smells a little bit more complex than yeah, Roxbury. Uh, Roxbury is uh, a little bit more linear. But uh, I also really enjoy the smell of Roseberry. It gives me this uh, uh, delicious patchouli with uh, tobacco and uh, sauna bath white. Yeah. It's very woody also. Very pleasant. So yeah, thank you gentlemen for creating this fragrance, Adam and uh, Anton. Uh, I'm really happy that I bought this uh, tiny bottle. So yeah. Uh, please let us in the comments uh, if you enjoy this fragrance or if you don't like it, uh, please write us why. Uh, we would like to know that. And uh, we also have a couple of original dry fragrances that we haven't reviewed yet, I believe. Uh, one of them is uh, Quir de Rossi, and uh, I really want to review that one. Uh, it's my favorite leather fragrance, especially this is good in winter. Fantastic. So yeah, thank you very much for watching our video and uh, till the next time. Bye bye. Bye.